everyone i'm noor and today i'm going to discuss a few most essential maintaining tips of solar water heater through which your solar water heater will remain healthy to work for a longer number of years if you have bought a solar water heater and do not know how to maintain it then it will rust or stop working for not following the essential tips which will make a huge loss to your investment in a solar water heater Solar products need periodic inspections and maintenance to make it work efficiently. Some inspections and maintenance can be done by you by your own, but some other maintenance will require an expert to fix. So, keep watching to know what are the essential maintaining tips required by a solar water heater. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get yourself notified every time we post a video related to solar. As I said that there are some inspections and maintenance that can be done by you and on the other hand some need the expert advice and help to monitor and repair the solar water heater so let's start with what you can do to maintain your solar water heater release of water at night once the installation of solar water heater is done by the company plumbing can be done anytime as you need after the plumbing of the solar water heater tank needs to be filled so you should release the water in the tank only during the night time and not in the day it's because the tubes of the solar water heater will break if the water is released in the day due to sudden change in the temperature this is applicable for an etc model only this is an essential tip or step that you need to follow every time the tank needs filling of water straight air vent in a non pressure solar water heater model the water comes from an overhead tank to the solar water heater so it needs three pipes during the plumbing input pipe output pipe and air vent pipe an air vent pipe is required to release the air pressure formed inside the water heater tank that air vent needs to be at the same height and equal to the overhead tank and it should be maintained to be straight to release the pressure of air from time to time if the air vent bends or if it's not straight then the tank will not be able to release the air pressure which will pressurize the inside of the tank through which air cannot be released which will lead to creating a hole inside the tank and it will lead to leakage so maintain your air vent pipes straight always as possible drain the tank if you are going somewhere for more than 7 days and the solar water heater will not be used during this period then drain the solar water heater tank completely to avoid it from rusting what happens is the water might stay inside the tank if not drained and the salt in the water will try to settle on the inner tank and it will start rusting the inner tank which is a huge risk for the inner tank so please drain your tank before you leave for a vacation or anywhere use correct pipes while plumbing insists the plumber to use cpvc pp plumbing pipes only and all the walls like gate wall nrv wall and union wall needs to be fixed by the plumber with the exact kind of material required by the solar water heater use of good quality water as you know that water contains salt and it will lead to corrosion if there is more salt in the water so in order to avoid the rusting try using soft water as much as possible if there is more salt or high salt content in the water then buy a solar water heater which comes with a special protection inside the tank cleaning of the tubes it is important to clean the outer tubes of dust leaves and dirt accumulation from time to time to make the sunlight fall directly on the tubes without having layers of dust in between do it once in a month So these are the simple things that you need to take care of from time to time. Now let's move on to the maintenance that requires an expert to fix. Inspection every 2 to 3 years. No matter how good your solar water heater is performing, you should call an expert of solar water heater from the company to inspect your solar water heater's health, working and several parts inside. Cleaning inside of tubes. Tubes from inside accumulate salt which needs to be cleaned frequently. Mostly a soft round brush is put inside to brush up the formation. You can do it yourself but since the tubes are delicate it's better you call an expert assigned for cleaning itself and make them do the cleaning in order to be ahead of the danger of breakage. Replace sacrificial anode rod. 
If your solar water heater has sacrificial anode rod, which is available mostly in Vigard, Rack, Cold, and Madanta Inventions product, it is important to replace your sacrificial anode rod present inside the inner tank for every three to four years. This is an essential step because the anode rod collects all the salt of the water and rusts itself. With it being fully corroded, anode rod cannot perform and the salt will start sticking to the inner tank which will eventually spoil your tank and the whole solar water heater too. So, get the sacrificial anode rod replaced every 3 to 4 years which will only cost you around 2 to 3000. Above all, buy a solar water heater according to your requirement and water hardness of your solar water heater. Always ask the expert or dealer how much water hardness a product can handle. If it can handle more than a water's water hardness, then only purchase the product. So these are the most essential solar water heater maintenance steps that everyone with a solar water heater needs to follow. If you need any help from the experts of solar, you can visit SolarClue and contact them for their services and products. Thank you all for watching.